the rap game suffered a tragic loss when Juice WRLD passed away three years ago. Since then, his friends and family have tried to keep his legacy alive. But now fans are turning on his girlfriend, Ali Lottie, after she used his name to promote her OnlyFans and let her alleged new boyfriend rock the jewelry that Juice bought for her. Here's what's going down. A few weeks ago, Juice WRLD's fans started going after a dude named Carter Jameson when a video went around showing him wearing a watch that Juice bought Ali. At first, nobody knew who the dude was, but rumors started flying that he was Ali's new boyfriend. A pic came out showing him laying on the ground with Ali's dogs, which just added more fuel to the rumors. Jameson and Ali have both denied the dating rumors, but fans noticed her commenting dad under his IG post like she used to do with Juice. In an interview, Jameson claimed that they were just working on business projects together, but he did admit that they're living in the same house. Jameson is an 18-year-old entrepreneur who runs a business that puts on social media giveaways with artists and other celebrities, and apparently, that's how he linked up with Ali in the first place. When a Juice fan DM'd Jameson and told him to take the watch off, Jameson replied and said that it's Ali's watch, then bragged that the other watch he was wearing in the video cost 200k. Jameson made a bunch of weird posts on social media, bragging about being in Juice's house and other things, and the whole situation was strange to fans. That's not where the drama ends. Ali has been catching a lot of shade from Juice fans over her OnlyFans page too. Last year, fans were upset after rumors started going around that Ali was going to make an OnlyFans to post photos and clips of Juice that nobody had ever seen. Ali hopped on Twitter to clear the situation up and told fans that the idea was to set up a free OnlyFans page so Juice's hardcore fans could see videos of him. She never started an OnlyFans for Juice, but his fans are still mad at her for creating their own. Recently, Juice's fans have been hopping in Ali's comments and getting pressed over her having an OnlyFans page. It's weird that any of them would even care, but when she clapped back during an IG Live session, Ali ended up getting some backlash that she actually deserved. During a recent live, Juice fans were dropping L's in Ali's comments. That's when she snapped and said, She told his fans that they didn't actually know anything about Juice. But then she dropped a bombshell and said Juice didn't actually die from a drug overdose. Y'all mad because literally I'm like, oh, blah, 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 you guys think he died from a drug overdose. You're wrong. You're wrong. Literally, you're wrong. So suck a On December 8th, 2019, the cops were waiting for Juice to touch down in Chicago. Before they could search the private jet he was on, he allegedly swallowed a bunch of Percocets so the cops wouldn't find him. Juice was a heavy drug user, but his body couldn't handle all the pills and he tragically passed away from toxic levels of oxycodone and codeine. Even though the official autopsy let fans know Juice was killed by drugs, this isn't the first time Ali started to start rumors that it was something else. Back in June, a video came out that showed Ali telling someone there was more going on behind the scenes. She said there was stuff going on with Juice the day before he died and also trying to make it seem like her life would be in danger if she said too much. At the end of the video, she said, it's always been about money, and Jared made enough money to not have this issue. I'm gonna take it to court. Juice was signed to Lil Bibby's Grade A Productions, and in June, Bibby told a fan who was asking for more of Juice's music, people say we don't put out enough music, but then they say we do it for the money. It seemed like Bibby was talking about Ali, but now it's clear that Juice's team don't want anything to do with the situation. Double XL reached out for a comment on her new live session. They said, no comment. A lot of fans didn't realize just how bad Juice's drug problem was. After he died, his ex-girlfriend Alexia Smith did an interview with the Daily Mail where she aired out the entire situation. Alexia and Juice only dated for a few months in 2018, but that was long enough for her to see how much he was abusing drugs. According to her, labels were offering Juice drugs just to sign with them, and one time she saw a label rep giving him cocaine and morphine. Juice tried to kick the habit while he was with Alexia, but she says that withdrawal made him violent and she broke up with him after it got physical. That's when Ali popped up and started dating him. They had been friends on social media for a few months after Ali reached out to say she rocked with the music. At first, they were just friends, but less than a month after Alexia left, Ali and Juice announced on IG that they were dating. Ali and Juice were around each other constantly and fans thought their relationship was solid. But last week, Juice's cousin hopped on IG and aired her out for using them. Mills was Juice's cousin and a member of his 999 collective, and apparently, he was never a fan of Ali. He posted a huge rant on IG and said one of the last things he was able to tell Juice before he died was to watch out for that According to Mills, Juice got mad at him for telling the truth, but he couldn't put up with Ali's manipulation and how she controlled Juice. Apparently, she would diss Mills and the other dudes in the collective and call them bag boys and maids while she was in her late 20s calling a 19-year-old dude dad. Mills says Ali kept Juice away from the people who really cared about him, and her and his label drove him crazy because of all the manipulation. 
Now fans have started sharing a video of Ali dissing Juice before they met each other. In the clip, Ali is listening to Juice in the car and says, And this is why I can't listen to the radio. She always said that she became a fan of Juice before he even blew up. And that's how they connected on social media. But now it looks like that might be Cap too. Plus, there's rumors that Ali had her Juice World tattoo removed. And now fans are wondering if she cared about him at all or if she just wanted clout. A lot of fans have praised Juice's mom, Carmela Wallace, for spreading awareness about mental health and drug abuse. But according to Mills, even she was using Juice while he was alive. He wrote, I just feel like God removed Jay because everyone was literally using that man from the time he woke up to the time he was asleep, from the label to his girlfriend and even his mom. Nobody's responded to the accusations yet, but it's clear the situation around Juice wasn't good before he tragically passed away. He had gone from an unknown artist to one of the biggest names in the game in record time, and there's always going to be drama when you reach that kind of success. Juice's music reached a lot of people, but unfortunately, it seems like the people around him don't care too much about how they're affecting his legacy. His fans were already devastated when Juice died three years ago, and now they're having to go through even more drama while his friends and family air everything out on social media. Hopefully the situation calms down soon and everyone can move on. Juice is one of the most unique artists of his generation, and his fans deserve to carry on his legacy without dealing with all the drama and cloud chasing. Rest in peace to Juice World.